stories we are not coming to know or not we have to know from the from the textbooks or what we say moral stories or textbooks here moth publicity means many more stories we came to know from others so here the who is the greatest this is the one kind of story and story is this story this lesson is about akbar and birbal what kind of akbar what quality akbar had and who is the akbar and who is the birbal generally we know who is the akbar and who is the birbal akbar is the great king akbar is the great king of mughal dynasty we know and birbal is is one of the courtier we can say or we can say alive friend in his court and there is a or we can say different kind of mystery in there in between them means whatever and whenever the problems occurs in front of akbar akbar immediately used to call to birbal to get the solution from that of problems or we can say difficulties so let's we start the first paragraph of this lesson is who is the greatest emperor akbar or akbar the great is known as one of the greatest rulers in the world not just because he had a vast empire a very strong army untold wealth but because he was a good human being see here in mughal dynasty so many rulers or we can say had been ruled in india or we can say across the india but among them akbar was one of the king who had who known for good human being no doubt he had a good strong army he had untold wealth and he had a vast empire even though this person this king was famous or we can say known for the good human be emperor akbar or akbar the great is known as one of the greatest ruler in the world not just because he had a vast empire try to understand akbar the great akbar was not famous for because he had he has he had a vast empire or an untold wealth or you can say strong army but he was famous for good human being being we can say generally what happened many more examples in front of us that that king or that person had that person is having or that person is rich but how he is rich we cannot say he is a good human being sometimes what happen good people rich people are so poor people are there but instead of that this akbar was one of the great ruler in the mughal dynasty not because of he has a vast empire or strong army but he is a famous for as a being of good personality good human being he cared for this subject how we can say as i told you the akbar was a good human being good human person or good human being but how what are the things what did he do for the subject and why he was a famous in the mughal dynasty and why he was famous for for we people and we can say today today even today in 21st century akbar was a great ruler in the mughal dynasty because he was a person who used to take care of his subject whenever and wherever his subjects are in the problem he was he was he was ready to solve their problems their solutions give to give solution he cared for his subject he had a great respect for scholars it is the first example i should say that how the akbar was a good human being the first example is he cared he used to care for his subject subject is what here subject is not as english math and science subject means people it is a history word he had great respect for scholars writers poets and interesting belonging to different religions see here 
it is the first example that the akbar used to take care of his subject in difficult time in needy time always he used to help them second thing he was a he used he used to give respect to whom to the what you can say scholars what is scholars scholars is expert people expert person in different uh, subject matter scholars writers poets and artist artist belonging to different uh, religion see here subject belong to any caste any religion scholar belong to any caste any religion any what you can say any speaker language or you can say any other what you can say uh, language or caste doesn't matter but he used to respect all kind of all caste and religion means one one thing i should tell he had a good religious tolerance why because he used to respect he used to respect for the writers scholars poets and artists who belonging to different caste and religions this is the high caste this is the low caste we should have respect for high class we should not respect for the low caste it doesn't matter we should have to respect for all class all caste all religion so what we sh what should we learn from the life of the akbar who is the akbar is not important who is the akbar is not important who was he that is important who was he he was a good what you can say great leader great king and good human being why because he he had been shown a path what kind of path what should, what kind of what is way should be accepted in the life in his life he had been respected all kind of people all kind of people does not have to belong to any caste and religion he was a patron of art and culture how he was respected to the any caste people any religion people he used to give importance to the art and culture in his time the nine gems or navaratnas in his court were famous here again one word came that is the gems gems is a, a valuable what you can say stones but in his court not valuable gems not valuable stones were there in his court here what your court nine court is where there sipais we can say he used to call them what nine gems the nine gems are navaratnas now means nine navaratnas in his court were famous many people believe that of these nine gems birbal was the closest to the emperor's heart how many gems were there there were nine gems in his court and all the people in his territory used to believe in the nine gems as well as akbar and among them birbal birbal was the closest to the akbar that because i told you in the starting time of the lecture that birbal was was is not just uh, what you can say courtier or you can say he is a friend of the akbar just about that. akbar loved to pose interesting questions or problems in his court to who almost all all gems whenever akbar in problem whenever akbar in what you can say problem situation in a problem situation that time to get solution to get solved from this four problems the akbar used to ask questions to the nine gems and one of them akbar and birbal and birbal was giving all correct answer to the akbar akbar loved to pose interesting pose this what ask asking to love to pose interesting questions or problems in his court and birbal never failed to come up with an equally interesting answer whenever whenever 
Akbar was asking to the question to the courtiers that an always Birbal was ready to give answer to the to the Akbar or whenever Akbar in problems that time that many times Birbal was put forth himself to give the relief from that problem to the Akbar. This is the what you can say unique quality in the Birbal what Birbal always stands with Akbar in a needy time. Second paragraph we don't know whether all the Akbar whether we don't know whether all the Akbar and Birbal stories that we hear today have any basis in history. They have been handed down over generations mainly by word of mouth. Here are two of them. As I told you, many more stories about the Akbar and Birbal were not handed down. Already it, it was handed down, but now nowadays we are coming to know all the stories from the mouth from other people, another people, generation to generation, generation to generation. For example, I told you when we when we are small children in uh, in uh, what we can small time, uh, what we can say when we are kids, small time that time our grandpa or grandma used to tell the story of Akbar and Birbal. Means. Just imagine the story of the Akbar and Dribal used to tell to us by the, our grandpa or grandma from our ancestors. Imagine that story we are not, what we can say, kept ourselves. That story we passes over to our next generation. Means the stories, many more stories of Akbar and Dribal we come to know from the generation to generation and most stories we are not read from any stories story books we can say one day so one day one incident to be taken what you can say uh, taken place in the court in front of all the courtiers with the akbar let's see see one day the emperor entered the court with a very serious expression on his face generally what happened the court is called early in the morning, we can say. But today, one day what happened? The expression of the Akbar or we can say the mood of Akbar, the great Akbar somewhat different from, different from other days. And how was he? He was not happy. He was absolutely not happy, but he was serious. And we know that we have been watching many series in many, what you can say, TV channels. If the king is serious, the courtiers is not happy. They are so serious. What? Today what happened to king, we don't know. Try to understand. One day the emperor entered the court with a very serious expression on his face. As soon as he was seated, he said, All the courtiers were, gave him welcome as a daily routine and when he came when he entered the court as he seated he started to ask to the people people means what courtiers and what he asked i have a question for all of you what should be the punishment for someone who pulls my mustache what punishment should be given to the those person that who Pull my mustache. Whose mustache? Akbar's mustache. Who pulled? Don't know. But the Akbar is asking if anyone, if someone pulled, pulled down my mustache, what kind of punishment would be given to him? Who's asking? The Akbar is asking to the courtiers. As soon as this question asked by the Akbar, the whole court was. Still be sort silent, pin down silent. Why? Imagine why the court is silent. Because this is the what kind of it is one kind of big mistake. It's one kind of big mistake. Someone pulled down the mouse of whom? Akbar the Great, not any ordinary person. He is the king. And who is the dear person? Who pulled down the mustache of the, the great Akbar? And that's why the whole court was 
to be seen very silent and stern pull the emperor's mustache it was unheard of means one kind of seer or you can see nuisance sound to be seen among the courtiers that who pulled down the pulling of the empress mustache it's not easy and it's not what i can say it's a dare work and who is that dare person that pulled down the mustache of the actor flog him give him 50 lashes of the whip explained the noble man noble man one solution the sound came from the courtiers this is the what you can say the answer of the question which asked by the actor it's not see here it's one kind of insult no it's one kind of insult of akbar pulling down the mustache of the great actor so what kind of punishment to be given the noble man gave the answer flog him give him 50 lashes of the beam stick 50 lashes explain exclaim one noble man this is expression what kind of punishment 50 lashes to be given to such person offense we can see it is a great offense it is a it's not ordinary offense it's a great offense done by someone with the akbar that's not enough put him in jail without food and water said another it's one kind of what you can say uh, competition is given going on there among the courtiers someone said put him in jail without food and water not given to them not given to him one can say 50 lashes 50 lashes is not a good for not good punishment for um, such person we have to put him in jail without food and water said another beat him beat him hang him cut off his offending hands the agitated courtiers began to cry out only Birbal was silent he was even smiling at me look one by one one by one all the courtiers are giving what you can say uh, suggesting to the king what kind of punishment to be given to the offense and the third person he said beat him beat him hang him and finally cut off his offending hands it's just a very dangerous punishment i should say you which is given by the last person but these things happening in the court but Birbal was enjoying this time. How is he enjoying? He was smiling. <coughs> one by one, by one by one, all the noble men, all the courtiers are giving answer. And instead of giving answer, the Birbal was smiling. Birbal was enjoying that moment. How funny, no? Only Birbal was silent. He was even smiling a little. What do you say, Birbal? What do you say, Birbal? What is your opinion? In my opinion, O oh, giver of peace to the world, the offender should be given his favorite sweet meats. First example, first punishment is flog him, give him, and 50 lashes to the whip. Second punishment is putting into the jail without food and food and water and the third punishment is beat him, beat him, hang him and finally cut off his offending hands and when the birbal turns come when the birbal turns turn come that time the suggestion of the birbal is something different from others what did he do? what did he tell in my opinion, when the king asks, what is your opinion? What do you say, Birbal? In my opinion, O oh, giver of peace to the world. O oh, giver of peace to the world. Who is the giver here? Akbar. 
Akbar is the giver of the peace of the world because Akbar was the famous for good human being. He was not a cruel person. Is it not? Is it not? It is not a cruel person. He is a good human person. So, as a being of good human person, good human being, you have to be ex. What you can say? Sorry for that person. Who suggested given this one? Birbal is giving to the Akbar. In my opinion, who oh, giver of peace to the world, the offender should be given his favorite sweet mates. So I think it is too much for today. Uh, we are going to stop. And next point we are going to start tomorrow's session. Thank you.